You know, as a new member of the LGBTQ plus community here in South Florida, I am elated to shine a light on the immensely valuable work the community is doing. And here with us this morning is one such person, CEO of the Pride Center at Equality Park, Robert Boo. Good morning, happy Pride. Welcome to Inside South Florida. Happy Pride to you, Jason. How you doing today? I'm doing good. It's good to have you here. I love the energy. This is a Thank celebratory you. festive month and it's always great to connect with people who are doing good mm -hmm. as you are in our community. Tell us about the Pride Center at Equality Park. So the Pride Center is, uh, we're celebrating our 29th anniversary this month. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, and so uh, I have been associated with the center since 2006, the CEO for the last 10 years. So it's been very rewarding. It's my passion project. Very rewarding to see how the center has evolved and grown over the years and, and meeting the needs of the community as we evolve over time. Needs of the community. Uh, there, you guys offer a myriad different resources for everyone in and out of the community. What are they? Correct. So uh, we started off primarily providing HIV testing, outreach, education, prevention work, and then we have evolved. And so now we have uh, outreach to the transgender community, people of trans experience. So we have a, a coordinator organizing that program. Uh, we have our outreach for the LBT community. So we have our uh, uh, Women with Pride coordinator. Uh, we have the nation's largest weekly gathering of LGBT activators, and we call them activators not because I'm a, part of the senior community now, but uh, so it's really fun because every Tuesday morning at our coffee and conversation, we have over 200 people show up, and for the first hour, that's what it is, coffee and conversation, people gossiping, conversing, kibitzing over coffee and donuts. Every Pride, we talk about Stonewall, and we talk about the experiences over the last, what, 60 years of how we've gotten to just this moment. Mm -hmm. with even this right now, with me and you talking, we are probably the wildest dreams of people who are no longer with us, right? Being exactly. able to be as open and giving of our experience without judgment yeah. on television. Yes. It's a beautiful thing. So yes. active, active agers have that unique perspective of a life before, and they have so much knowledge. What are the gems you extract from those coffee and tea conversations? So some of our uh, participants, people who come to the uh, weekly event, actually were at Stonewall. Wow. We went through and lived through, and and uh, some of our donors, uh, they, they've been together for like 65 years, but when they first got together, they built a house, but it was a duplex. And then they had a door connecting the two together because they couldn't be their true authentic self. Yeah. So th we provide that safe space. So uh, in this room, it may be their only opportunity of being in a, uh, a welcoming and affirming environment where they can be themselves. And isolation and loneliness are two of the top four uh, factors that affect the active aging community. So being able to bring them all together where they can talk and share and gossip and, and be themselves, it's very rewarding. And, and some of the gossip you hear, it's at that. <laughs> Juicy, that, like, yeah, yeah. just like popcorn. I just like sit down, I do. I sit down with popcorn and go, okay, tell me more. You said, since 2006, the evolution has just been mind blowing, which is so mm -hmm. cool to hear. What's the next evolution of the Pride Center? So during the pandemic, we actually finished com uh, our project for the residences at Equality Park, which is a 48 apartment complex for um, 55 plus, and 70% of those uh, occupants have to be on some sort of disability. 60% okay. of active agers are on some sort of disability. So uh, with the 48 apartments, we had 1,500 applications. Nice. So that tells you right there the desperate need of affordable housing for our senior community. CEO at the Pride Center at Equality Park, Robert Boo, you are absolutely doing good in our community. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, and happy Pride, man. Thank you, same to you.